A blue post came out yesterday. Hey everyone, I'm Foibles, also known as Tom. Why does he have two zeros under him? This is like his first post ever. Also known as Tom. I'm a senior producer on the World of Warcraft server and live ops team. And I would like to share what we're preparing for the realms with the upcoming launch of Season of Discovery. You may have noticed with the launch of Classic Hardcore that there weren't a lot of realms. Was Hardcore's launch a small experience? Heck no. Hardcore continues to be experienced by a huge number of players. And we have been thrilled to see so many players, new and old, join in to experience World of Warcraft Classic in a new, exciting way. At the outset of any launch, our goal has always been to create healthy, enduring realms, and behind the scenes, we deployed tech in patch 1.14.4, that's the current patch that Classic Era is on, uh, that allowed us to significantly increase the realm capacity of a single Classic Era realm. With this higher realm capacity and fewer realms, we avoided the need for disruptive character migration options as realm populations ebbed and flowed. For Season of Discovery, we're going to repeat this process and we will launch a handful of realms that can support a lot of players, so you can feel confident in your choice of realm. Please note, we will actively manage the realm sizes at launch, so you might see sporadic queues as the population spread out. So you might see sporadic queues as the population spread out and we ensure realm sizes remain roughly equal. If Season of Discovery proves hugely popular, as we think it might, we will of course be ready with additional realms if needed. Please look forward to the announcement of launch realm names and type, soon, and type soon TM. Another topic that comes up each time we talk about realms is faction balance on PvP realms. We've received a lot of feedback on this since 2019. We hear you, and with Season of Discovery, we're going to try something new. This season's PvP realms have been designed to maintain faction balance as they grow. Yes, this is actually happening. However, there is a potential cost to this faction balance that we want to make sure you're aware of. If one faction is significantly more dominant on a PvP realm, there is a very real likelihood that faction selection may be temporarily limited on that realm. That said, our overarching goal for Season of Discovery is for it to be fun and smooth experience, and we are prepared to change course if necessary. Your requests for faction balance have been loud and clear. This is a new direction for us, and one that we're excited to try. Again, this feature will only be turned on for our Season of Discovery PvP realms. You will always be able to roll either faction as you wish on PvE realms. We encourage everyone who isn't committed to the challenges and difficulties of PvP to consider a non-PvP realm for Season of Discovery. As an old WoW veteran myself, I can tell you, playing on a balanced faction PvP realm can be a double-edged sword. They, there are awesome and fun new challenges that await, but there are also potential for, there's also the potential for hindrances that you may not expect. Your favorite farming spots might be a bit more spicy than you're used to, and we think this season is going to be a lot of fun, and these changes will help ensure every realm enjoys a great experience for all season long. And we're excited and looking forward to adding some extra seasoning to Season of Discovery's PvP realms. So what does that mean? Pog, W, good stuff, yes. Basically what this means is that they're going to go in and they're gonna faction lock the realms if they get out of hand. Uh, we saw this a lot in Classic. It really snowballed out of control in Burning Crusade. And then, then you started having this max mass exodus of like a bunch of horde servers fell apart. So then they all transferred to Fairlina and then a bunch of alliance servers fell, fell apart. So then they all transferred to Benediction. I say horde and alliance servers, like, you know, horde dominant servers, alliance dominant servers. This is a very, very important thing. This is a very big deal. The reason why this happened is because they would not faction lock. It was actually really annoying. I feel like Blizzard was like scared to do anything. I feel like Blizzard was scared to do anything in vanilla. And as time went on, they got more and more hands on with like what to do with, with Classic. So like Burning Crusade came out and they made more adjustments for Burning Crusade and then Wrath came out and they've done like a bunch of stuff since then. Yeah, the general idea behind Season of Discovery is okay, don't be scared. Just throw every, go as far as possible, throw everything at the wall, see what happens, see what sticks. And then one of our Classic Plus, you know, whenever it's all said and done, come out with like a Classic Plus fresh. You kind of take what you learned and you go from there. So I, I think I think that's pretty much what what's going to happen. That's the, that's the general idea behind season discovery. Personally, I think that fa uh, faction locking the servers whenever they get out of hand, that the balance is getting too bad, is a good idea. Now here are the, here are the cons. Here's the bad part of that. If you have a friend that is going to start playing the game, if you have somebody new to the game, then what's going to happen? Hey, our server has too many alliance. You can't you can't make an alliance character on this server. Sorry. So now your friend can't join. Now your friend can't play. It, it, it's kind of like the tough, like, this is like the tough love solution to faction balance. But the idea is, is if it's done the right way and they lock the factions and you're like, no, you, you, know, you can't transfer, you can't, you can't create a new character, you can't do any of that stuff. The idea is that um, it's going to basically brute force uh, faction balance on the servers. 
You make your friend go hoard and then you gank him and ruin the game for him. <laughs> True. <laughs> I personally think that this is this is probably a, a good change. This is this is something that is probably a good idea. I think this is going to help the the servers feel a lot more alive. Because especially with something like Season of Discovery, if if there ends up being like if this helps against the idea of there being like this big shift towards um towards all the alliance on one server and all the horde on another server and then with season of discovery you need the world to be alive you're leveling right the the level cap is 25 for phase one and if the level cap is 25 for phase one i mean the the idea is is you you want the the world to live and breathe and you want to you're not going to be raid logging it ideally right you're going to be leveling characters you're going to be an ashen bale pv being now there might not be a whole lot to do in the first phase because the cap is 25 but you want to have good faction balance because like vanilla wow is about the whole game from start to finish from level one to 60. so whenever you're looking at the game from one to 60 you need that world to be alive and if you have all the alliance on one server and all the horde on another server it's going to be really really bad uh season of alts yeah true so in general, I don't think the situation you mentioned will be a problem for us because none of us have friends. Maybe, maybe, maybe. But overall, I, I actually do think this is a good change. Uh, I think this is a big change that's coming to Classic, and it's one of those under-the-hood changes that I talk about a lot, which are like, they're not, like, super sexy. Actually, to be fair, this one's a little bit more than that. It's it's certainly not, like, a sexy change, right? Like, it's not like, oh, this thing's happening. Oh, 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 it's crazy. Oh, oh. It's not like that, right? It is something that I think is going to be good for the game, and uh, it, it's kind of like a brute force. From what it sounds like, it's kind of like a, a brute force method to, to taking care of it, taking care of faction balance, but I think it's going to be good. So, November 30th. Guys, November 30th is the day. Season of Discovery is coming on November 30th, and I cannot wait. So for YouTube, I hope you guys are as excited for Season of Discovery as I am. I'm very, very excited. It's going to be incredible, November 30th. Uh, I might even be doing a subathon for it. I don't know. I've been thinking about it. I might even do a long, like a one week long subathon or something like that. So uh, I can't wait. It's going to be incredible. Uh, if you guys like this stuff, make sure to like, subscribe, do all the things. YouTube, Instagram, Discord, Reddit, Twitch, Twitter. Uh, everything is SFANTV. Subscribe, turn on your notifications, all that stuff. Um, and yeah, follow me on Twitter, follow me on Instagram. Please, Subathon. TikTok, everything. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Yeah, it might be like a one week. It might be a one week cap subathon. If I do a subathon, it would be capped at one week or, or like it would be done in a way that would be like it intentionally. It's like a soft cap. Like it'll end after like five to seven days. Anyway, November 30th. I'll see you guys there. Season of Discovery. Wow is back, baby. Our wow.